Greece's neo-fascist political party, Golden Dawn, has been convicted of running a criminal organization. A court in Athens found that its leaders had been directly responsible for ordering attacks against migrants and left-wing opponents. With the today's decision of the of the Kyrgyzstan and the Kyrgyzstan of the Kyrgyzstan, it closes a very traumatic cycle of the democratic life of the country. The political disaster has, of course, Τριθεί με τη νίκη της δημοκρατίας που εξόρισε από τη Βουλή το ναζιστικό μόρφωμα. Τώρα, η ανεξάρτητη δικαιοσύνη δίνει και αυτή. In 2012, during the Greek financial crisis, Golden Dawn won 7% of the vote in national elections, coming in third place and giving it 18 members of parliament, all of whom were among those convicted. But a year later, a Golden Dawn member admitted to murdering Pavlo Fisa, an anti-fascist musician. Golden Dawn's leadership was arrested and a trial began in 2015, with charges including murder, possession of weapons and involvement in the disappearance of as many as 100 immigrants. By 2019, the party had lost popularity and failed to reach Greece's 3% threshold for parliamentary participation, losing all its seats. The party may now be finished, but there's a danger its ideology will live on, as Golden Dawn's leader has previously suggested. Neither bullets nor prison can bend nationalists, and the greatest proof of that is this rally with all of you fellow fighters here. A new, but less extreme far-right party, the Greek Solution, was founded in 2016 and holds 10 seats in the Hellenic Parliament. And Europe's most populous and powerful countries have significant far-right political representation in their national assemblies. In Hungary, the ideology of Viktor Orban's ruling Fidesz party is frequently described as soft fascism. More extreme movements like Germany's Pegida and the English Defence League have no political representation but share a similar ideology to Golden Dawn. Does Greece's ruling send a message to Europe's rising far-right that their extremist ideology will no longer be tolerated? And if prosecution is a possibility, could the days of the far right be numbered? Adam Pletz, The Newsmakers.